hello what's up youtube in this tutorial i want to show you how you can easily export sharp photos and not only sharp photos but also photos that are not going to be able to change in color because most of you tend to edit and retouch your photos well and you spend so much time doing the color grading but after exporting or saving that photo it tends to change in color after you have been able to save it or maybe post it on instagram or even a given website or also put it on your phone so this is a tutorial that is going to be helping you overcome that color change issue and also enable you have a very sharp image after doing the skin retouching and color grading on that image and before you can proceed if at all you feel like this is the right video for you make sure to hit the like button because youtube is going to be recommending this video to more people out there who are interested in the same topic so before we can even proceed let me first of all show you how i did the color grading for this very image and using a single lat out of my case's skin tone lats i was able to change the look of this image from this uh, to this and if at all you are interested the link is going to be in the description of this video so that you can support this channel by purchasing and also improve your color grading and save time color grading your images or your portraits with just a single click so these lights are going to be around six lights and they're going to be able to color grade faster and quicker and make you have more professional results so this is not the emphasis for this tutorial so i want to show you two basic ways in which you can save sharp photos or images that won't change in color after you have been able to save them in photoshop the very first technique is going to be for those that have older versions of photoshop because you may not be having the option for a second technique that i'll be showing you later on in this video so if i told you have an older version of photoshop you have to come right here to file and you come to export and you come to save for web legacy and if i told you don't have this option you may find it right here so just come to export and you come to save for web legacy remember when we are doing the color grading oftentimes we tend to embed different colors maybe from different options within photoshop and those colors may not be incorporated within the photo so when it brings up this window for you you can see that we have this window that says save for web and in this window we have options right here so the options that we have you can choose the quality or the format which is jpeg and under this what we want to do we just want to select the maximum quality of the image because we don't want a very low resolution photo and the quality at 100 percent so make sure you check optimized and also embed the color profile and make sure you tick optimized and also embed color profile and after doing that, just come to this option that says convert sRGB. The reason for taking these two options is because we want to keep the original colors within the image and also embed or incorporate the colors that we are able to color grade into the photo as you're trying to do the color grading on it. So make sure you check these two options and this will enable you get rid of that kind of color shift after you've been able to save your photo. So after doing that, just come to the preview and make sure it is in monitor, monitor color right here. And after doing that, the next option that we want to understand is just come to save. Don't hit done. And before you hit save, just make sure that you sharpen the image a little bit more for the screen and select by cubic sharper. So when you select by cubic sharper, your image is going to be slightly sharper or photoshop is just going to be saving it as a, re a relatively sharper photo when you save it so after doing that just come right here to save and it's going to give you this other window so you can save it to whatever location that you want so i'm just going to leave it uh, to desktop and i'm going to name this to save for web just like that because this is the very first one so I'm just going to do that and just hit save and the image is going to be saved. So it is going to be a sharp image and the image is not going to be 
change in changing in color after you have been able to post it or put it on a different device the colors are going to be constant the way you're looking at them right in photoshop so the very next technique is going to be for those that have later or latest versions of photoshop and this option is going to be right here to file and you come to export and come down to export as so when you come to export as it is going to bring for you another window that is named as export as so under this we have the same settings that we had in the very first option and under format we have jpeg so make sure you come and select jpeg image size you leave it the way it is meant to be and at a scale of 100 percent resample change the resample to by cubic sharper because we want photoshop to slightly sharpen the image for us at the time of saving so leave the canvas size the way it is meant to be for the metadata you can as well incorporate your information if at all you want to add some information or embed your copyright information within the photo just select this second option so in the color space remember we just want to incorporate or embed the colors that we have been able to color grade within the photo and in that we just want to embed the color profile and also convert it to srgb meaning this photo is going to be containing the colors that we are able to color grade within it and also embed a car or be supported by most devices that have the rgb channel as a preview format so just make sure you check these two options and after doing that just come and hit export and you can name this to export as and choose the location where you want to save the photo so just going to save it to my desktop and simply hit save and after saving it is automatically going to close this window after saving our photo so basically this is the two ways in which you can save your photos very sharp photos and also images that are not going to be changing in color after you have been able to save or post them on social media and if at all you want to post images on instagram make sure that you make sure they fit in a ratio of 4 to 5 when you're cropping them so just come and make sure they are in a ratio of 4 to 5 or 8 by 10 so basically this is all for today's story and if at all you have found it helpful don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and not subscribe this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating